Live from Stanford University, it's theCUBE, covering the Women in Data Science Conference 2017. Hi, welcome back to theCUBE. I'm Lisa Martin, live at Stanford University at the second annual Women in Data Science WIDS Tech Conference. We are here with Anne Rosenberg from SAP. She's the VP Head of Global SAP Alliances and SAP NextGen. Anne, welcome to the program. Thank you so much. So SAP is a sponsor of WIDS. Talk to us a little bit about that and, and why is it so important for SAP to be involved in this great women or, women's organization? So first of all, um, in my role as um, working with SAP's relationship to academia and also building up innovation network, we see that data science is a very, very key skill set. And we also would like to see many more women get involved into this. So actually, as this event is taking place right now, as we speak, uh, we are at the same time at, um, in 20 different countries around the world, 24 events we have. So we are both in Berlin, we are in New York, we are all over the world. Uh, so, so it's a very important, I call it kind of a movement what we're doing here. It's important that all over the world that we inspire women to go into data science and into tech in, in general. Uh, so it is an important thing for SAP. First of all, we need a lot of data science into SAP, but we also need our entire SAP ecosystem uh, to go out to universities and be able to recruit uh, data science students from a both from a diversity perspective, uh, whatever you are, a female or a man, of course, yeah. Absolutely, you're right, this is a very inspiring event. It's, it's something that you can really actually feel, you're hearing a lot of applause from the speakers. When you're looking at enabling even SAP people to go out and, and educate and recruit data scientists, what are some of the key skills that you're looking for as the next generation of data scientists? This is an interesting thing because you can see, you can say that you need like a very strong uh, technical skill set, but we see more and more, and I saw that after I, I moved to Silicon Valley for two years ago, that also the whole thing about design thinking, the combination of design thinking and data science is becoming something which is extremely important. But also the whole topic about empathy and also, uh, so when you, you build solution, you need to have this whole purpose-driven in mindset. So I think what we're seeing more and more is that uh, it's great to be a great data science, but it takes more than that. Um, and that's what I see Stanford and Berkeley are doing a lot, that they're kind of a mixing up kind of like the classes. Uh, so you could be a strong data science, but at the same time, you also have the whole design thinking uh, background. So that's some of the things that we, we look for. Um, uh, at SAP. And that's great that we're hearing more and more of that. Uh, other skills, critical thinking, yeah. um, being able to not only analyze and interpret the information, but apply it and explain yeah. it in a way that, that really reflects the value. So I know that you have a career, you've been in industry, but you've also been a lecturer. Is this career that you're doing now, this job in alliances and next gen for SAP, sort of a, a match made in heaven <laughs> in terms of your background? I actually love that question. It's probably the best question I ever got because it is definitely my dream job. Uh, when I was uh, teaching in, in Copenhagen for some years ago, um, I saw the mind of young people. I saw the thesis, uh, the best and master thesis. I saw what they were able to do. And, I, and, and I'm an old management consultant. And I, I kept on thinking that the quality of work, the quality of ideas and ideation that the student come with was something that the industry could benefit so much from. from. So I always wanted to do this matchmaking between the industries and the mind of young people. And it's, it's actually right now I see that it started kind of from what I at least saw for the last two years that the industries that go to academia, they go to university, to educators, to students, uh, to work on new ideas. Um, and um, of course in Silicon Valley this has been going on for some time now, but we see it all over the world. And the network that I'm, I'm, uh, um, I'm responsible for at SAP, we work in more than 106 countries around the world wow. with 3,100 universities. And, and what, I'm, what I really want to do now, I call it the Silicon Valley of the world, where you are mapping the industries with academia, with the accelerators and startups. It's just an incredible innovation network. Um, and, and, and this is what I see is just so much growing right now. So it's a great opportunity for academia, but equally also for the industry. I love that. Something that caught my eye, I was doing some research. In April 2016, SAP announced uh, a collaboration with the White House's Computer Science for All initiative. Tell yeah. us about that. I mean, the whole DNA of, of SAP is, is, is in education. Um, 
Uh, and therefore, we, we do support a number of initiatives um, around the world. Um, whatever we talk about, building up uh, skill set within data science, building skill set in, in design thinking or in, in any kind of development skills is, is really, really important for us. Uh, so we do a lot of work together with the governments around the world. Uh, whatever you talk about, the whole STEM education, for example, uh, we have programs kind of young thinkers, BTEC, uh, where you go out to high schools or where you go into academia to universities. So when this institute came up, um, we of course went in and said we want to support this. So, um, so if I look at the United States, so we have a huge amount of universities part of the network work that I'm, that I'm driving with my team. So we have dedicated curriculums, uh, education material, we have trained to train our faculties, boot camps, um, we do hackathons, coach games, um, we do around 1,200 to 1,600 hackathon coach games per year around the world. We engage, we engage with the industries out to the universities. Uh, so therefore it, it was a perfect match for us to go in and support this institute. Fantastic. Are there any things that, that SAP does, as we look at the conference where we are, this Women in Data Science, are there things that you're doing specifically to help uh, SAP, um, maybe even universities, bring in more females into the programs, whether it's a university program or into SAP? Yes, yeah, so for SAP, um, in, in our whole recruiting process, uh, we're definitely looking into that uh, uh, there is a, a, a great mix between female and male uh, people who get hired into the company. Uh, but we also, uh, it, it all starts with that you actually inspire young women to go into a data science education or into a development education. Uh, so my team, we actually go in before SAP recruiting get involved, where we, that's why we build up this strong relationship with universities, where we, we, we inspire young women, like we do at this event here, to why should they go in and have a career like this. Um, so therefore you can see there's a lot of pre-work work would need to be done t for us to be able to, to go in and, 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 and go into the recruiting process afterwards. Um, so, so SAP do a lot both of course in the United States but all over the world um, um, to inspire young women to go in into tech. And, and SAP, that's what we see today all over the world. We have huge amount of uh, female uh, from SAP female speakers uh, at all our events uh, who stand as role models to show uh, that they are women, they are working for SAP and, and are very, very strong female speakers and the female role models for, for young women to, to get involved. So, so we do a lot of stuff uh, to, to show that to the next generation of data science or whatever it is for insect, yeah. Right, and I can imagine that that's quite symbiotic. It's probably uh, a really nice thing for that female speaker to be able to have the opportunity to share what she's doing, what she's working on, but also um, probably nice for her to, to have the opportunity to be a mentor and to help yeah. influence someone else's career. So you mentioned accelerators a minute ago, and I wanted to understand a little bit more about SAP Next Gen Consulting, um, this collaboration of SAP with accelerators with startups. How are you partnering to help accelerate innovation, and, and who is this geared towards? Is it geared more towards students, or is SAP also helping current business leaders to evolve and, and really drive digital transformation within their companies? So, so uh, the, the big project I'm working on right now too is, as mentioned, you said SAP Next Gen. Uh, it's called uh, SAP Next Gen Innovation with Purpose. So it's linked to the 17 UN Global Goals. Um, we see it from some time now here in Silicon Valley when you innovate, you actually make innovation where purpose is included. Uh, um, and that's why um, we kind of agreed on in SAP, why don't we make an innovation network where the main focus is that all the innovation we get out of this is purpose-driven linked to the 17 global goals. Like uh, the event here is the, is the goal number five, uh, gender equality. Um, in that network, uh, we actually do the matchmaking between academia. Uh, we look at all the disruptive new technologies, experimental technologies like machine learning, like we've been discussed a lot here, blockchain, IoT, uh, VR. Um, and then we look at uh, the industry out there because the industries, they need all the new ideas and how to work with all the new opportunities that technology can provide. But then we also look into um, accelerator startups, the huge amount of, and often when you are in Silicon Valley, you kind of think this is the world of 
uh, the startups of the world. But when you so so when you travel around the world, and that, that's what we looked into a lot the last two years, we call it the Silicon Valley of the world. Any big city around the world, or even smaller cities, they have tech hub. Uh, so you have Berlin Valley, you have um, a Silicon Roundabout in London, you have Silicon Alley in New York, and that is where there is a huge amount of gravity of startups and accelerators. And when you begin to link them together, together with the university network of the world and together with the industry network of the world, you suddenly realize that um, there is an incredible activity of creativity and ideations and startups, and you can begin to group that into industries. And that gives um, industries the opportunity uh, not only to develop um, solution inside the company, but kind of like go in and tap into that incredible innovation network. So we work a lot with seeding in startup, early startups into corporates and also crowdsource out to academia and the mind of young people or next gen consulting project where you, you simply work with, with students at universities um, on, on project, it can be big data science project, it can be new applications. Um, so I, I see like as the next generation type of consultancy uh, and research, uh, what is happening in that whole network. So that is really what SAP Next Gen is, but it is linked to the 17 UN Global Goals. It is innovation with purpose, which I, uh, I'm really happy to see because I think when you build innovation, you should really think about in a bigger, we, the whole mood short thinking that we know from singularity, you, th you should think about a bigger purpose of what you do. Right, yeah. right. It sounds like though that this next gen consulting is built on a, on a foundation of, of collaboration. It is, it and is, sharing. and and we so we we have uh, three next gen labs types we set up uh, in um, in this year we built uh, last year we are new year now we built twenty next gen labs at university campuses and and at SAP locations uh, and e here in the new year more labs is being set up we are opening up a big lab. Uh, in New York. Uh, we just recently opened up one in Waldorf at SAP's headquarter. We have uh, one here in Silicon Valley. And then we have a number of uh, universities around the world where SAP's customers uh, uh, go in and work uh, with, uh, with academia, with educators and, and, the, and, and, and students. Uh, because what do you do today if you're an industry? You need to find uh, students who are strong in machine learning right. and, and all the new technologies, right? Uh, so there's a huge need for the industry now to engage with academia, an incredible opportunity for, for both sides. Right, and one last question. How, who are you, in the spirit of collaboration, yeah. who do you collaborate back with at SAP Corporate? Who are all the beneficiaries or an influencers of Next Gen Consulting? So, so I collaborate uh, inside SAP, I collaborate uh, SAP have a number of, um, we have uh, ICN, Innovation Center Network. We have our, uh, I, um, our Startup Focus Program. We have, um, um, we have um, a number of innovation, the labs, a number of where SAP do all our software developments. Uh, so they're heavily involved. Uh, we have our whole um, go-to-market organization with all our uh, SAP customers and industry. Uh, uh, I call them clubs. Uh, and then externally, it's of course academia, universities, and then it is the startup community, it's accelerators, and, and of course the industry. So it is really like a matchmaking. That's like when people ask me, what do you do? And I'm a matchmaker. That's really <laughs> what I am. Yeah. I like that, a matchmaker of technology and and, and people all over. So you're on the planning committee for WIDS, um, wrapping things up here. What does this event mean to you in terms of what you've heard today and what are you excited about for next year's event? So for me, um, for one, one year ago when I heard about this year, I kind of said, uh, this is important, this is very important. And it's not just an event, it's a movement. And uh, so that was where I went in and said, you know, we want to be part of this, but it, it must be more than just an event here at Stanford. It needs to be much more than that. And uh, this is where we all teamed up, all the sponsors, 
together with ICMIE and and we said, okay, let us let us let us crowdsource it out, let us live stream it out much more than ever. Uh, and this is also what the excitement is now that we 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 to so many locations. This yes. is just the beginning. And uh, next year is going to be even bigger. And it's not like that we will wait to next year. We we uh, this week launched uh, the SAP Next Gen Global Challenges, uh, linked to the 17 UA Global Goals. So we are inspiring everybody uh, to go in and and work on those global challenges. Uh, and one of them is is uh, goal number five, um, each, um, uh, which is linked to to this event here. Uh, so for us uh, and for me, this is just the beginning. Uh, and uh, next year is going to be even bigger. But we're going to do so many event and activity up to next year. Um, uh, my team in APJ, uh, because of the Chinese New Year, um, have all the event plan coming up here. Uh, and um, we have been doing pre-event, follow-up events. Uh, so again, um, it is a movement and it's going to be big, that's for sure. I, I completely can feel that within you. Yeah. And you're going to be driving this momentum to oh, make yeah. the movement even louder, even more visible yeah. next year. Well, Anne, thank you so much for joining us on yeah. theCUBE. We're happy to have you. Thank you so much for the opportunity. And we thank you for watching theCUBE. I'm Lisa Martin. We are live at Stanford University at the second annual Women in Data Science Conference. Stick around, we'll be right back.